Two things about this dress. We have a monthly primal play party at the Fallen Campgrounds and a couple of years ago they did a swap meet. This just happened to fit me and everybody needs a, a dress in their wardrobe. Don't you agree? I did feel kind of bad because I was walking around wearing it and I was like, someone out here used to own this dress and they're gonna see me wearing it and I hope they don't get <clears throat> But the person who did own it was there and came up and said, holy shit, that used to be my dress and it looks fabulous on you. Second off, this was the dress that I wore when Miss Penguin and I got married. See, our wedding anniversary is June 1st, Pride Month. And so she dressed in a button-down shirt and tie. I wore this to show support for all of our brothers, sisters, trans and non-binary folks because we love you. And if you need a dad to tell you they're proud of you, daddy's got you. Last year I had made a Pride Vlogger. Link in the description. I always wanted to kind of step it up a notch. So this is Pride Vlogger 2.0 except Miss Penguin made little donuts. Oh, let's see here. See the little donuts in there. We've got the bisexual. And I also copied that for the, uh, the pins on the wrap. The transgender, pride, and pansexual. And then of course the wrap has the pride colors, and then on the top. We're gonna start with Miss Penguin making the donuts. She's making them out of a polymer clay that has to be baked to be hardened. And isn't she just so amazingly talented? Check this out. I've got to prep the mold for the donuts, so I'm using a, an old cutting board and then some PVC pipe, that way the resin doesn't stick to it. And hot glue is uh, your best friend in this situation. And you need to use copious amounts of hot glue because resin will exploit any weakness in your mold and seep out of it. Trust me, I speak from experience on this. Mark the ends of your blank as close to center as possible. That way when it's turning, it's not as cattywampus. And if it's not centered, you can still turn it, but you end up losing a lot of material trying to, to hone it in. So it's key to get it as close as possible to the centers. That way you can maximize your blank. And originally I tried to add a little bit of pink to the top of it, but I didn't mix it in well enough. So it was kind of congealed in it. I had to remove it by turning it, but I didn't lose too much of the, of the blank to make that happen. Once 
once I had it finished turning, I went ahead and threw it on my cup turner, which I've kind of converted into my flogger resin turner. And I did the first coat and it came out fine, except a fly had landed in it, but it was still at a point, I was able to remove the fly and it could still cure. But the next morning when I got up, I checked it and realized that I had gotten the fly off, but it left one of its legs, which kind of pissed me off. But I was able to clean up the area and then I just had to re-sand and then reapply another layer of resin onto it. And on the second layer of resin, I went ahead and added pride color micas to it. That way I could make the end of it be just a little bit more interesting. And now it's time to make the falls out of some leather. Yeah. I use this blue tape as a marker because I need to leave a little bit of material for when I wrap around the post of the handle. I have something to help attach to it. And so the blue tape acts as that marking line for when I cut it where I know where to stop cutting it. I'm taking some milled veg tan which isn't as stiff as your traditional veg tan. It's a little bit more flexible. And I'm using that to paint the pride colors onto what I call the wrap. I'm using these acrylic leather paints. I had all the colors except for orange. But geez, what am I gonna do? I have no clue. Hmm. Well, I don't I always enjoy doing collaborations with Miss Penguin because they always come out far beyond what I expect and uh, it's always a fun process. Thank you for watching. Just remember, you have an ally with Penguin After Dark. So here is the Donut Pride Flogger. And until next time, peace.